bullying. The Me the Too violence, movement against toxic sexual harassment. Masculinity. Is this the best a man can get? Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says he's the 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 and there will be no going back. Because we are men going their own way. Greetings, gentlemen. It is I, Victor von Frankenstein, the grateful MGTOW. As promised, I am back with more content. Welcome. Let's get started. Skew. Definition. Noun. 1. An oblique angle. A slant. A bias toward one particular group or subject. 2. The state of not being symmetrical. Verb. 1. Suddenly change direction or position. 2. Twist or turn or cause to do this. 3. Make biased or distorted in a way that is regarded as inaccurate, unfair, or misleading. 4. Cause a distribution to be symmetrical. I feel this would be a far more suitable title for the show we are about to destroy. Why it is that this type of propaganda is still allowed on air? Is beside me. These women not only sound as though they are completely clueless, bumbling buffoons, but they espouse seriously slanderous propaganda to multitudes of women. Sitting at home watching daytime television. And like the telephone game. Their gossip is distorted by not only their own lack of information, but the twisted and contorted views that other women then attach to this misinformation. The blue pill women that sit at home and absorb these false narratives, and the blue pill men that support them, will be the downfall of Western civilization. With large corporate conglomerates, such as Procter and Gamble starting to fall in line with the gynocentric authority, Organizations like the American Psychologists Association and their report on toxic masculinity and television programs that are promoting outright misandry. What will it take? How long will men stay complacent? The writing is on the wall. Thank you gentlemen and I hope this finds you well. Please do not like share or subscribe. And don't forget to stuff that bell up YouTube's ass. With that being said, let's bring in our guests. The Skew. We're not the only ones concerned with the guy and the White House's relationship with Russia. According to the New York Times, the FBI was so worried that he could be working as some kind of agent for them that they opened up an investigation into it. Mm. He even physically took the translator's notes of his talk with Putin in Hamburg, which is why I think my new nickname for him might be the Hamburglar. <laughs> 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 you gotta have a little levity in there. Just a little. I got so, one too. Shall I say mine? Sure. Benedict Donald. <laughs> <laughs> so when, <laughs> when you <laughs> what did you think when you first heard just that this was going on? I thought, <sighs> duh. <laughs> really? I, I was surprised um, that there was a counterintelligence investigation going on because I think we all knew that there was an investigation going on into collusion and an investigation going on into obstruction. But the fact that the FBI opened up a counterintelligence investigation into the President of the United Explain States. What that means. A counterintelligence investigation is basically an investigation by the FBI to determine whether or not the acting, sitting president of the United States is a foreign spy for a foreign power. That floored me. In fact, I was driving into work this morning with my mom, and my mom said, is she, is has never, is she's never floored about anything? And she said, is it possible that the sitting United States president is a Russian spy? And I just said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, that's the thing, though. I don't. I don't, I don't think know. anyone 
has the answers right now. Yeah. I was I, I was just as shocked yeah. by it. Um, and frankly, of all the things we've talked about at this table, this is by far, I don't even have a word for it, but yeah. the craziest, because we're now in this place where you either are going to have a President Trump who wins another four years, or he gets ousted from office for potentially, or for being a, an agent for the Russians. Like, we're just in this really strange yeah. place as a country. And look, full disclosure, I'm sitting here with my dad's the ambassador to Russia. Yeah. Uh, I think he would be more shocked than anybody if this were true. So there's still a lot that we don't know. He might not know, though. Uh, I mean, your father is an ambassador. This is the covert operations. He may not know what's going on. Is Trump capable, though, of covert operations? Well. I just don't. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's I funny. Know. That, that is a good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, never pressed it before. That is a good point. I mean, it, uh, you know, to, he can barely run our country, let alone, yeah. it's hard for me to think that he'd be like this like brilliant espionage spy, but I put nothing off the table anymore in, in, in yeah. 2019 because. I think we're on Earth 2 and there's some parallel universe of Earth 1 where like Jeb Bush is president and I'm happy and like it's different. <laughs> yeah. But I will say the New York Times reported that there's no evidence that it has merged publicly that Mr. Trump was secretly in contact with or took direction from Russian government officials. The problem with the political optics of this administration is when you go to Helsinki and you look like you're palling around mm. with one of the worst dictators yeah. of my generation. And it's this in is secret. How people, and it's in secret. Yes, but yes. this is how people could believe it. Like Occam's right. razor, the simplest solution is almost <laughs> always the, the likely one. That, Megan, that he He's pulling out of Syria. That helps the Russians. Yeah. Uh, he, he, they changed the whole policy at you the, know, I think at the Republican point. convention. Yeah, well, maybe yeah. you do, but it helps Assad, doesn't it? But it, you but know, it yes, it, but it, yeah. yes, it does. I mean, that, and it's a, sorry, and it's yeah. in 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 the benefit of the extermination of the West, which is what Putin's number one yeah. issue is by far. And also, at the Republican convention, they changed the platform I, so that they now um, they they basically um, they're helping the Russians. But everyone, when they pulled it, when they invaded the Ukraine, mm -hmm. we are now not helping Crimea, the Ukrainians. Right. We're yeah. stopped right. selling them weaponry well, can, to can fight I, the I just want to say one thing because that like, sounds you odd. and I are really and I. I think most women, yeah. I, I, we're all simpatico on this. If you're offended by that, you should be offended by Tulsi Gabbard running for president. She's the mouthpiece for Bashar al-Assad. She went and met with him and came back and spewed his propaganda. It is embarrassing for the Democratic Party at the same time. Us as Americans should be on the same page about murderous dictators. Okay, but yeah. she's, the, what, a congresswoman, and we're talking about the president. But I'm just saying, it, you should be yeah. equally offended well, I, by I her. probably would I'm be. I'm offended if I by everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> NBC News Chief White House Correspondent Jonathan Carl. I got hit the whole <laughs> oh, thing in this go. time. Um, so glad we have you here for this. So the the missing link for me is how do you go from hearing people on TV saying, "Oh, we've known he's been an agent the whole time," to literally the FBI then launching an investigation into a sitting president, uh, looking into whether or not he's an agent for the Russians. How much evidence do you need for that? And then where does Mueller fit into all of this? Well, this is, again, this is the FBI director, the acting FBI director at the time, Andrew McCabe. Uh, and I, I think what it shows, and we've seen through some of the text messages of some of the others involved in this decision, including right. Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, these were people that Hated deeply him. detested Donald Trump. And now they're running the FBI, and they're able to open this counterintelligence investigation. And they... You know, they believe that they had solid reason. The president Didn't was that acting make us in a all way. Skeptical then of well, I, this? I, I, I think that there, are, I think there are reasons to be skeptical. Of this, and, and but I think the biggest one is what happened afterwards. And there is no indication that Robert Mueller picked up any of this. And here's a very important point: we, we are now just, I believe, weeks away from getting a final report from Robert Mueller. And there is so much anticipation, so much speculation about what he is going to show. He has been looking into, you know this whole range of issues. Mm -hmm. And I am led to believe by people who have interacted with the special counsel um, that we should be prepared for him to release a report that is anticlimactic. Mm -hmm. That on the, you know, he's already, look, he's already done a lot. He's already gotten more than 30 indictments. Mm -hmm. The president's inner circle, right. his campaign chairman mm -hmm. uh, convicted, uh, his national security advisor uh, indicted, his personal lawyer. Uh, you know, it, it, so much has already been there. But on the central question of did Donald Trump or anybody in his campaign coordinate or collude with the Russians in their effort to meddle in the 2016 campaign. We have seen zero evidence of that. What and, that for? 
Manafort? Right. No, well, well we, 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 look, Manafort has, has been indicted because of his, mm -hmm. uh, his personal corruption, what he has done. And we know there was this revelation that he gave polling yeah, data. Right. But there's no indication that Manafort either knew of or helped the Russians in their efforts to uh, hack into the DNC emails, John Podesta's emails, or that that massive uh, internet campaign to undermine pub basically the public discourse in this country. But just to be clear, you're saying there's no indication, but Mueller has kept this investigation he very has. close to the vest. So there may be no indication right now, but we, we don't really know because he's been so very good at that. But um, to, to, to keep the conversation moving, um, my, my question is, in terms of what would constitute spying, mm -hmm. that's pretty broad, right. isn't it? It could be witting or unwitting. Yeah, no, I, and absolutely, and, and that's what, and, and the amazing part of that, of, of this revelation in the New York Times mm -hmm. on this investigation opened by Andrew McCabe is that they actually were looking into the possibility that he was doing it wittingly, that he knew that he was right. effectively working on behalf of Vladimir Putin. But again, we've seen no indication that that has gone further. But the president's own behavior has given, I mean, so how often do you hear people say, you know, how do you explain why he's never been able to criticize Vladimir Putin? He flatters how do you, him. He how do you explain that on multiple occasions yeah. he has basically, he has said sometimes that he accepts the intelligence community's finding on the meddling, mm -hmm. but he's also said that he, you know, Putin's been very firm, very strong in his denials. How do you explain all this? You know, the, the other thing is you have to separate the policy from his rhetoric and his personal behavior. And the policy has been mixed. I mean, I heard you pointing out, you know, he, this withdrawal from Syria plays right into Russian hands. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, he's also the airstrikes on Syria twice. He did that. Mm -hmm. And he actually did go forward with, uh, you know, the weapons to, uh, to, to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But So, yes. we still don't know what we don't know. We yeah. don't know what we don't know. I think right, we, right. but we know a lot. Putin, I mean, <laughs> um, Mueller has effectively <laughs> been writing his report in real time mm -hmm. with all these indictments. And, and the guy, this so, guy, but we Barr, don't, says but he's we don't have to... any more information yeah. or any more time. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goody two-shoes. Betty by Bo's time again. Good night, honey. Sweet dreams, dear.
a terrible dream. I am parched. That's better. I could use another one of those. Whoa. That's one heck of a nurse. <laughs> 